but whoa! Good morning, guys. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Gina Johnson, Cheryl Wint. Good morning, Rhea Ellis Reed. Coming in, everybody. Come, 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 come. Okay, so let me see this. More than life to me. to Cheryl Johnson from memory from memory Cheryl Johnson I only saw it this morning in the wee hours okay mama I don't really do uh, request 
uh, I move by the spirit. I move by the spirit. And also, I don't know all songs. You know, I don't sing uh, every song in the whole wide world. So sometimes if you see like, probably I don't get a chance to even respond. You ask for a song and you still never hear it. Probably been annoyed and I don't have the time to go learn it right now because I have like a lot of other things that Latoya Marling's music have to prioritize, all right? So um, I, don't, uh, I don't know all songs, but Cheryl Johnson from Trinidad and Tobago. She lives in Tobago. See, <laughs> something like that. So <laughs> happy birthday to you, mama. She wanted me to sing the song, He Knows My Name. Some of these songs, I got I purchased the music for it in advance. So if you ask me for a song, you can't ask me at the appointed time. You can't ask me um, the night before or the day before. Sometimes I have to wait. Sometimes I have to search. Like it's a lot of things I have to do just to come and show up on your phone screen like this. Yes, I mean, I mean, I mean. But she wanted me to sing, I am not forgotten, I am not forgotten, I am not forgotten, God knows my name. Cheryl, I'm, you are not forgotten, you are not forgotten, you are not forgotten, God knows your name, he knows your Ah, so you see if you didn't ask me earlier, I probably could have worked on it for you, huh? Eh? Do I sound Trinidadian? Do I sound? Do I, do I try, yeah? I try. But anyway, on a serious note, I wish you many, many birthday blessings. I hope God will cover you under his matchless blood and provide for you everything that you're ever in need of. Love you, Cheryl Johnson. Happy birthday to you from all of us on the Don't Pass Me, of the Don't Pass Me By family. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, child. Sip a little French vanilla. If you see me drinking a lot this morning, it's because it's not like the tea. But we don't like this time. It's something to just make me feel good. Thanks, Orleans. Yes, and to anyone else that's celebrating their birthday today. Oh, Angela, there's an Angela celebrating her birthday. Sharing it in the red top. Red top, my shirt it in the red top. Today's your birthday, mama. Happy birthday to you. Big up everybody celebrating their birthday today and this week and the month of June. I celebrate you, I celebrate you, I applaud you. You're alive. You're alive. You're alive. Happy birthday to you. Ah, look at my people. Yes, Lord. And you just don't see it. Remember, you're never. Today is somebody's husband. 
wedding anniversary. I don't know who it is. I just glimpsed it. The names are going too fast. But happy anniversary to you. Aw, anniversary blessings up on you, mama. A lot of celebrations today. Claudia Knight, you and your twin, happy belated birthday. This is why we need lots of time. Thank you this morning. We know that you're just too wise. You're the only wise God. So whatever it is that's transparent in our lives, we know that you're just too wise to be mistaken. It is not a mistake. You know what you are doing. You know why you allow what you allow. Heavenly Father, to help us to trust your heart. As the song says, even when we can't trace your hands, even when it seems as if we don't know what you're doing, Help us to trust you wholeheartedly and know that you got this. You see the first, you see the last. You know the beginning and you know the ending. And you have plans not to destroy, but to give us hope and to give us a future. Bless us, we pray in your name. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. Come in your own special way. We pray in your name. Amen and amen. And amen. Yes. Trust us all. Trust your heart. Mighty rock, we trust your heart this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, light here. Yeah. Yes, Lord. So I want to make mention of a few people that have messaged on my page. I'm just keeping them in our thoughts this morning. Um, there's a lady that said that she lost her hair, all of her hair this week, like all of her hair this week. She didn't write the details. You know herself. She knows herself. She wrote it on YouTube so everybody can see it. Her name is Bev. I'll just say Bev for short. Um, she lost all her hair and she's crying her eyes out. There's another lady, her grandson has autism and he's unable to speak. I don't remember the age, but you know. Mighty Rock. Mighty Rock. There's another lady whose daughter has a brain tumor. Your daughter has a brain tumor. Father of love There's someone else whose son needs a social life And a proper girlfriend That's a mother who wrote that So she would know why, you know She's saying that he needs a social life And a proper girlfriend Father of love The next lady who's the outcast from her mom and she's struggling because she has three kids, three daughters, 10, 16, and four years old. The last one, father doesn't help. Let's keep these people in our prayers. She used to do some farming and she's looking for some seeds to do some more farming. And she also needs a laptop for one of her daughters to help in school. Mighty rock in a weary land, we come to you this morning. God, guys, this is just a, <laughs> some of the messages get lost because I get a lot of messages every day. This is just a taste of what we receive sometimes, what I receive. But just keep all these people in your prayers. Might not be able to save the world, but what Latoya Mullings can do is sing some songs for you that can help to give you comfort during this time. I can also pray for you and keep you in my prayers and my thoughts that God will send divine intervention. Sometimes when you think you have problems, you know, <laughs> even right here in Canada, sometimes the things I hear people complain about, I say, if only they knew they are complaining about the internet or they're complaining about a room in their house, in their five bedroom house that's not this and it's not that or there's a corner in the closet that is just like that's their biggest problem you know or or, or um, 
their cottage. They're not, they, didn't, they weren't able to make it to their cottage this weekend. <laughs> For those who don't know what a cottage is, it's like a home away from home in the same country that they own. Mighty Rock. If they ever know what some of us have to, you know, endure on a daily basis. Real problems, child. So sometimes, like, you know, when I hear them talking, I'll be like, guys, <laughs> that's first world problem. That's first world problem. That's first world problem. That's first world problem. Yeah. Or it's raining and they're not able to ride their motorcycle while they have two, three cars parked up at home. Mighty Rock, this lady just need a little seeds to farm to help take care of our children. That's all she asks for, you know. Just some seeds to do some little farming <laughs> so she can feed her children. But Lord, hallelujah, we come to you, God. You see and you know everything. I faced a mountain that I've never faced before. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord. I know it's been a while, but Lord, please hear my prayer. I need you like I never have before. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Sometimes. Yeah! 
saw your message screen, green shirt. She'd like to help the lady who needs the seeds to do the farming. Okay, Mama, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Queen. God bless you. Mighty Rock. In a weary land, we come to you this morning. To trust you Hallelujah. Time to take some mountain. Call on Jesus this morning. Thank you for the 500 stars, Orla dear. Appreciate it, Mama. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Mighty Rock. Let's keep all these people in your prayers, guys. It's not easy. It's not easy. Sometimes it takes a there are people out there who are buying like a little plastic bag of cooking oil. That's just for the day. And then buy the uh, even chicken back. You know, chicken back expensive, eh? In Jamaica. I didn't know it was expensive. If I want to go two pound of rice, they just live for the day, you know? And then tomorrow it's another struggle to find something again. Can imagine it's difficult when you're by yourself, let alone with kids that are relying on you. Your little girl children, them. Mighty God. Your love is so much stronger, Jesus, than whatever troubles me. Yes. Yes, God. Sometimes it takes a mountain. I know hard life, you know. Trust me when I tell you. I know what it's like not to have. I know what it's like. I know what it's like. Thank you, Julian Harrison, for the 530 stars. I appreciate you, Mama. Thank you so much. Thank you. I know what it's like, because that's how I grew up. From humble beginnings. Me and my siblings, me and my family. But there was never a day when we never had something to eat, no matter what it was. We always had something to eat. And we were always satisfied. Not once we ever hear any of my siblings complain that this is what we have and we don't want it done. Thank you so much for the stars, Jackie Gross. Thank you so much for the 100 stars. Never once we always learn to be satisfied with whatever we had. But we never had much. I remember one week and it was just, one whole week it was just pumpkin that daddy farmed and reaped. <laughs> Just pumpkin. If you if you need a snack, it's pumpkin. Breakfast, pumpkin. Uh, dinner, pumpkin. Lunch, pumpkin. If you wake up in the night and you feel hungry, it's pumpkin. Not even crackers. Just pumpkin. Not even butter. We went to church the Sabbath. We came home and we had pumpkin for lunch. That time we little. Oh my God. When my kids know, I said they don't even know what it's like. They don't even know what it's like. Humble beginnings, child. So I know when somebody said they're in need of something, I know what it's like. I know what it's like. I know what it's like. <laughs> I know. I know. That's my whole life, literally, growing up in Jamaica. You understand me? And we what we had out outdoor toilets. That's what we had. And we learned to clean it and keep it clean. We dyed the floor. And the inspector came and we would put the chlorine in there and stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean. And we would proudly walk water Miss Marge shop, go buy two pound a newspaper because that was our toilet paper. You understand me? Yes, man. Yes. Toilet paper, newspaper was our toilet paper. Every time we go out there and we buy it, she would use, sell the old newspaper to people who need it. And that's why we proudly walk out there and buy it. Listen, listen, man. When people say me boss, I mean I understand. Because I mean I have nothing to be boss unless I'm a boss of the goodness of God. Unless I boast of the goodness of God. So I know that I know. I know how life can be difficult. I know. I've experienced it. And when newspaper run out, we know how to drag off the, 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 the banana leaf. Don't get me started on my life this, life this morning. The dry banana leaf, it can't be too green and it can't be too dry because things can happen. You just gotta know the right one to pull. And that was our toilet paper. So me know hard life. You understand what I mean? I mean, 
I know what it's like. I know when it was that time of the month. You understand me when we start, you know, in the beginning, puberty time, take over. And you use all underwear. Listen, and you're going to school same way. I know what it's like to go to school without lunch. All day, child. And I know, also know in the good times what it was like. When I had lunch, when my father pulled up with, 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 with um, pe uh, peanut punch and cheese and biscuit. And look at tired cheese there in the, 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 the cheese, um, tasty cheese in the plastic bag. I know, I know, I know, I know. So when people write to the page and tell me that they're in need of something, I know what it's like and I feel it. And sometimes I carry these heavy burden and I walk around with it every day. Who I can help, I help. What can I help? I just can't help. And you know what the lady said, the one who wanted the seeds at the end of her message to say, I know you have your two young children to take care of. I know you have your two young children to take care of. So she's considering, you know, she's been thoughtful. Like, you know, she don't want to ap apply no pressure to me because she know I need, I, I mean, I need to take care of my kids as well. But may God provide for all of you. You are in need this morning. Call out to him now. Call out to him, yes.
to watch part one <laughs> that was uh, of my live Wednesday morning I shared this experience on my Wednesday live I should say so in a nutshell I want you all to know some of you thought that my mom passed away the same day my son was born it's the same date it was my bad for saying day but it's, it's not um, the same day it's the same date so my mom passed away November 20 2011 I went into labor on November 20, 2019, right? So we're always mindful of the date, whenever that date come around, you know, November 20th, oh yes, this is when mama passed. And so, uh, you all know the story for those who already know. I gave birth, everything appeared to be fine, and my placenta was left inside. I've been once to the doctors because <laughs> they left um, the room and everything. You know, the, the nurse that was assigned to me, she took her break. My husband that was there with our other son, he went downstairs to get my son something to eat. And so it was um, the, the nurse that took her break though, she did leave another nurse to just keep an eye on me in case I needed anything. And I was just about to eat and drink something finally after giving birth and my, my baby was there in the corner in a little cubicle thing. You know, so I was just about to take a break until I started to feel really cold, like I was shivering. I thought they turned the AC up, <laughs> but it was not the AC, child. My body was, my body went into a defensive mode, hypothermia, 
and I, I, I just felt like I needed to stay warm. I thought like, wow, what's happening? And I told the nurse that I was cold and she went and got me a, a hot heated blanket. I could feel the blanket was hot, but I put it and she put it over me, but I still wouldn't feel cold. And so when she rushed out the hall to call the doctor and the five interns that were there with me, they all came back inside and I was there shivering and the doctor, they've started to rush now and said, oh, they need to get my blood pressure regulated, right? They need to get my pressure back up. I didn't know what was going on. I just thought, oh, I'm cold. I could, you could see me shaking, like shaking, like uncontrollably shaking. I couldn't help, I just shake. All the chills and the shiver, it was crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I, still, I didn't know what was going on. I just know I was cold. And then the doctor came up on my bed and she started to press my abdomen and she's like, push, push, push. And I didn't want to push again because I'm like, I've been pushing, you know, for a while. So it was sore and it hurt. And then the placenta came out. And then, listen guys, I wanted to make this clear because some people probably don't even understand. A lot of people have passed this way. A lot of people have lost their lives. A lot of people died. A lot of women died during the same, from the same experience from the same experience. I personally know a lady, she, she, she experienced the same thing, but she didn't pass, she didn't die, but she heard the doctor saying, she's not gonna make it. You know in that moment when you're in and out of consciousness, you know, you, the place is dark, but then it gets light again. She heard them saying, she's not gonna make it. And because of that, she went mentally ill to this day. You know what I mean? So she, she was never the same. The baby was born, she was okay, she's alive, but just something went off in her brain when she heard them saying that. And I did see another lady on YouTube um, wrote that on Wednesday. She wrote that the doctors said, and she this one was in Jamaica, she said, the doctors said, um, is, this is how she's gonna, I think, I can't believe this is how she's gonna pass, or something like that. It's on my YouTube under the Wednesdays Live. She said this, she experienced the same thing. And then my sister also told me of another lady that passed away just like that. Just like that. Like we actually know people personally that lost their lives just like that. And um, it, it just happened that it happened to be the date of my mother's passing. But God gave us Caleb. God gave us little Caleb. God gave us little Caleb. I could have died. I could have died. But God kept me. God kept me. The, the doctor, she couldn't, like, wow. They were trying, you could see them trying to explain among themselves, like, what happened? How could we have missed this? And they were hear them saying, Jamaica, say, too much rat never dig a good hole. That's kind of like what happened, I think, you know, with me. Thank you for the 100 stars, Sharon Green. I appreciate you. God bless you. You know, I think kind of like that. That's what, that's what happened. Too much people in there, I do everything and they just forgot. Maybe if the male intern was in there, he would have remembered. See, Nashana said that's how her cousin passed away. So it, it, it was, sometimes it's a case where they have difficulty removing the placenta, but in my case, it was not like that. They forgot everything clean up and gone and left the room. I'm about to eat something and go cuddle my baby and have a good time. You understand? Thank you for the 100 stars, Michelle Steinrod. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. Blessings, Mama. Yes. yes, so it, it, it wasn't a case where they, they couldn't get it out. They forgot, they forgot. And because when your placenta is in there, as my sister Orlies, who's a nurse, she says, what would happen is I would have just bleed out and died. You understand, because my blood pressure already dropped out. The only thing left to do was to just take my last breath. And I was this close, this close, this close. I was this close. And I, I, when, my, when my son wake up at night time and I bother me and I cry, I'm like, oh God, at least I'm alive. At least I'm at like 2 a.m. in the mornings. I'm like, thank God I'm alive to take care of my own child. You understand me? Because it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to look at him every day, to know I'm alive and I'm here and I can physically take care of him and, you know, I'm able, I'm, 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 I'm well. I'm not mentally challenged or anything. Like anything could have, God knows if it had just delayed in me for two more seconds, you just never know. Those who know me, I never told anyone about this except my immediate family. So you guys are the first to know, like if this is your first time watching, you have to watch Wednesdays live. Just go back two days, scroll down on my page and you'll see it um, for the details, if you need all the details. 
just yes. Ornette Dare said childbirth is a risky process. Even a fragment of the placenta left inside can cause hemorrhage to the point of death. And this is coming from a nurse. I know Ornette Dare is a nurse. Yes, it can. It's a risky. Change. So when even when you you give birth and the baby's out and clean up and everything and you think everything okay, you just never know. You think it's safe because I thought I was in my safe zone. Good morning, teaching you my cooking skills. Aren't you gonna pick up yourself, mama? I thought I was in my safe zone because here I am, a baby born and everything all right. No, I'm gonna eat, eat, eat because I was very hungry. But no, uh, that was the moment that I almost, almost, only the mercies of God, made the little nurse run out quick down the hall, go get the doctor and come back with the whole entourage coming back again. Thank you for the 310 stars, Andrew Green. God bless you, God bless you, mama. Only God made them come back at the time they did. Yes, Ria Ellis, it wasn't my time. It wasn't my time. It wasn't my time. But God, but God, but God. There's a lady on YouTube, Bev. Is it Bev? I wrote down some name. Bev Brissett. She asked for this song again. She want me to sing it back this morning. Your grace and mercy. Your grace and mercy. Your grace and mercy. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Brought me through. Just when I thought everything was okay, just when I thought, okay, fine, I'm good, I almost died on the same date as my mom, as my mother. Can you imagine how, how challenging and disappointing and, and depressed, what the word I'm looking for? I can't find it right now, but can you imagine how that would have been for my family? Did you all know that that is how, in the same way, that's how my grandmother, my maternal grandmother passed away. That's how my maternal grandmother passed away. That's how she, my mother's mother. That's how she passed. It just came back to me, right, sir? Correct me if I'm wrong. Or Carmelita. That's how, that's how my grandma passed. That was before I was born, obviously. That's how she passed. I may almost go in the same manner but it's grace and mercy. Thomasine True says she lost her girlfriend the same way. She lost her girlfriend the same way. Her placenta took too long to come out. Mighty God. God is able. Paulette Woodburn says she had to go to the theater to do a DNC to get mine out. Oh my goodness. They had to take you to um, do a surgery on you to get it out. Could have, yes, it could have been fatal, but God. Somebody send me 500 stars and I can't see it. Oh, Melanin Sweet Charm. Thank you so much for the 500 stars, Mama. Blessings, blessings. God bless you. And I'm still here, Arlette, dear, to fulfill my purpose that God has put me on this earth to do. And that, I believe wholeheartedly, is to sing, 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 sing the clouds away. Yes, yes, yes. I know the doctors, they're skilled, they're professionals. But anybody can make they made a big mistake. That was a big mistake. That they didn't they weren't even trying to get it out. Then just the baby come out and everything done and done. You understand? <laughs> but they made a mistake. And that is why I always include God in everything I do. Even if you're flying, you just never know. The pilot could make one little mistake and everybody go down. You just never know. It's human. Look at the Titanic. Them say it couldn't this and it couldn't that and it couldn't this, but that ship sank, child. It sank. You understand me? And look how many people died. But God, but God. But His grace and mercy, His grace and mercy brought me through. Oh, sure, Nate, your grandmother by your father's side died in childhood with her last child. Yes, my grandma it was the last child too when that happened to her. Oh, this is last child. Your grace and mercy brought me through Living this moment because of you
you, Jesus. I once was blind, but now I can see. Thank God. Grace and mercy. Grace and mercy rescued me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mighty rock. I'm living. Latoya Mullings is living this moment. Living this moment. Only because of his grace. Only because of his mercy. God, I could have bleed out and died, but God said no. No, no, no. It's not your time yet, baby girl. I still got a lot of songs left for you to sing. God, what a 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 God. What a God. Come on, somebody, sing the song with me.
think it's anything good that you have done. Even on Wednesday morning when I was driving into work, man, I'm telling you, on the highway, just across there. I know the devil knew I had the story, the experience that I wanted to share with you guys. And just as I was about to go over to the right lane, child, the devil didn't want me to tell him, man. There's a trailer to the right of me, one empty lane between us. And the whole time we're driving, the man didn't decide to come over any at all, driving steadily. But no, I had to go over to the right lane. So I'm going over to the empty lane between us. And as soon as me look, the man just swing right over. And God made it happen that I could just swing right back over into my lane to the left. Because <laughs> just like that, that was a close call. Listen, that's a big blessing. That's a big blessing that you're alive. You're alive. You're alive. You're alive. You're alive. You shall live and declare. And the words of the Lord you shall declare. Hallelujah. His grace and mercy. His grace and mercy. Trailer could have just lit me so to the left. We go 18 wheeler trailer. But God said, no, child. She's going to tell this experience this morning and she's going to encourage somebody because it has been my grace and mercy towards her that has kept her. And she's going to tell it. She's going to tell it. She's going to tell it. Yes, when is the devil is a liar, child. I want to thank him and I want to praise him. Listen, if me move, listen, my child. When people see me sing, they don't even understand. A lot of people like to, <laughs> too much. A lot of people like to chat too much. Someone want to chat too much in the chat because they see me sing and they're like, oh, you're doing too much with your hand. Your hand shouldn't have done this. Your hand should have done Leave me alone and let me praise God because it's his grace and mercy that has kept me. So let me praise him in whatever manner I see best. Let me praise him in whatever way I want to praise him. When I'm singing, I know what I'm singing about. When I'm talking, I know what I'm talking about. God has kept me so many times. And it's just like a few will not hear about. You ain't hear nothing yet. What God has done for me. What God has done for me. His grace. His grace. His grace. His grace and his mercy. You see how much time my hand go up in the air. His grace and his mercy kept me. Kept me. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
on the days and the mornings when I wanted to give up, on the days when I wanted to give up on the whole live situation, God send the right people in place, people like Auntie Donna, people like you, all of you right here, all of you can see me and to keep me going because I was going to give up. But God said, no child, you ain't going to go, uh-uh, too much inside of you to let out and I want you to let it out. I want you to let it out. I want you to let it out, Latoya Mullings music. So let it out. I let it out in the name of Jesus. I, am, I was not born to sing in the bathroom. I was not born to sing in front of my mirror in my bedroom. I was not born to sing in my car by myself. I was born to sing until the power of the Lord come down. I was born to sing and I have seen it and proven it this year. This year, ever since that Auntie Donna moment, I have proven it because a lot of people wrote to my page and tell me that they were going to take them lives. They were going to take their lives. But they came upon me and a live singing, singing, and they didn't do it again. So tell me now if God don't have a purpose. Tell me if God don't have a purpose. Tell me if God don't have a purpose for me. Hallelujah. That's why God kept me. That's why God sent people my way so that all of you could see me, so they could put me out there and you all could see me and be encouraged and be encouraged and be encouraged. Hallelujah. 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 Guys, when you hear this song, you know what time of day it is. You know what time of day it is. I gotta go to work. It's time to say, Tata, it's always a good day when Jesus washes your sins away. Hallelujah. Jesus, we bless you and we praise you this morning. Thank you. Thank you, God, for deliverance. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for being my savior. Jesus, Jesus, lover of my soul. I praise you this morning because you are great. I praise you, oh God, because you are God. God and God alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I will not stop. I will Stop. I will never, I will never ever stop praising him. No, nobody, no, no, no can deter me from praising God. Nobody can deter me from praising God. So give me pause, make me praise my Lord. Give me pause, make me praise my Lord, child. Come on. Come on, let's have it up, child. Woo! I have to go party. My star senders, hold on, let me just back up here because this driver is coming my way and I don't want a problem. But I know Francie and Neil and um, Simone, a Simone with a S, well, of course, a Simone a C with a C, I think. Is that that Simone? But you guys send me some stars and I appreciate it. All right, don't come with me that thing. Yeah, oh, Simone, S E M O N E, sent me 400 stars. Thank you for the 400 stars, Simone. Thank you for the 377 stars, Francia. Thank you for the 500 stars, Trisha Church. You all are amazing. Thank you. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day. We went way over time. Have a great day. Have an awesome day. Have a happy day. Remember to follow me on all platforms at Latoya Mullings Music. See you on Sunday for Sing With Me Baby with my husband. That's all right, y'all. See you all on Sunday afternoon between 5 and 6 p.m. Somewhere between that time. I love you all. Enough, enough, enough. God bless. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Have a safe and great day. Love and up.